I'm gonna leave my makeup on. I'm just going to work over the top of it just because I'm lazy, quite honestly. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a powder on. Now last night we had a very bad thunderstorm, very bad thunderstorm, and it took out the electrics. Um, so we had a blackout in the middle of the night, which wouldn't have been so bad, but our aircon was on the fritz. And so then we had no fan and no aircon. And as it's Sunday today, we can't get the aircon fixed yet, so it's very, very warm in here. So I'm gonna try and do this even though I might be a bit drippy. So we'll, dri we'll do our best. So I've just taken a little bit of, of white powder um, and just powdered myself down a bit just so that I'm not so shot, not so hot and not so shiny. Now my idea was that I would paint a white spider's web first and then a black one over top so you must get like a white shadow of spider web um, underneath. So little bottle little water bottle just spritz onto your face paint to activate it. Oh dirty dirty brush. Clean it up. Right, so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to take a sort of pale grey, whitey grey, and I'm going to paint a sort of ghost spider web. Very simply, straight onto my forehead, no messing around, no taking my time, just pop it on. Now before I put the black one, Obviously, I want the white one to have set because otherwise it'll just turn into a grey sludge. So I want that one to set. I'm also going to take a little bit of white and I'm going to come under this eye and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to take my eye up. I'm going to bring it down, 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 spiderweb under this eye. Makeup is for fun. You don't take it seriously, you just do it for fun. Go the whole hog, why not? Why not? People have a party to go to. I love Halloween, I love Halloween. Now, I've had quite a few ladies say, so, oh, can't wear makeup anymore, can't see to put it on. I use a 10 times magnifying mirror for my daily makeup. I use a really, really big magnifying mirror because, my well, so that's not all that. But having been using makeup for so many years, I'm almost sort of like, do it by feel, do it by rote. I know what what colour I want where, and I just put it on, so it's not a, not a big, that hairy deal. Um, I'm just sort of, I suppose, winging it a bit, but winging it with experience. How about that? Winging it with experience. I have a... Deal compact here. It was a lovely gift from my lovely friend, um, Jess. And I've got a lovely dark grey in here. I'm going to take some of this dark grey and underneath where I've just put that white line, I'm just going to darken it up and take it right out to the side. It takes two seconds. Nothing very onerous or difficult. Just sweep it out to the side. Sweep it out to the side. Now, Obviously, a lot of girls want to look cute and sweet and pretty and for their Halloween, but I'm an old granny, I'm an old witch, I don't really care. So for me, it's more about the impact of looking frightening. So I'm going to take pure black here, and I'm going to come right down into that crease and fill it full of black. Um, on the eyelid, I want a little bit of... Um, lightness so I'm just going to take the little silvery grey and just pop it onto the eyelid. I'll be going in with some eyeliner in later. But we'll sharpen it all up. Can use this above the white as well. Now my eyebrows. Eyebrows are basically a disaster. I had a lot of eczema when I was younger and so my eyebrows sort of got patches where they just don't grow and so I have to sort of put my eyebrows in anyway. Um, but they're still black, whereas my hair is no longer black. So 
So they're a little bit darker than perhaps would suit me, but then that's just because they haven't lost the colour the way my hair has. So I'm just going to take a pencil. Well, this is where things are getting a little bit tricky because it's so warm that I am absolutely sweating. And I hope I'm not going to sweat all the makeup off before I get it on. But okay. So now we've got rather extreme brows. I think we're going to make them even more extreme. Let's just take the grey that's on the brush and take the inner eye. I think you can tell at this point that I do make it up as I go along. I really don't work to a plan or anything. I just go with the flow. That's part of the, part of the fun, isn't it? That's quite evil. Now, I think we need, if we're going to go fairly evil there, then I think we've also got to go fairly evil on the um, cheeks as well. So let's take some more of the dark grey. Maybe that's too dark, maybe. Or, or just brush that in as well. Got the spider lady, let's be fairly wicked. How do we go? That's fairly wicked. Fairly wicked. Okay. So now we're going to take the black. Move my magnifying mirror so I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, because this one, oh, you see, this is where I've got a problem. <laughs> You'll see this white line getting longer and longer as I stand here talking to you. That's because it's literally, oh, look, it's dripping, it's dripping all the way down my face. I'm not sure this is going to work because I am dripping. Right. I think what I've got to do is I'm going to turn off the camera and I'm going to get a fan and put it on here so that I can get myself cool. So it might be a little bit noisy but I have the fan on or melt. This is where we've got to so far. Um, I'm now going to add the black spider webs. So I'm using quite a fine brush, um, water, some black. You could just as easily use black eyeliner. Going down under my eye, bringing in those stripes. Now, obviously, on a younger skin, you wouldn't have quite so many creases. Probably be a lot easier. But we work with what we have, ladies. One spider web. Only two, two and a half to go. And a half to go. Going right down the wall. Ooh. As I said, I wanted the one underneath to be like a shadow. These little cobwebs are always drawn in black, but of course, in reality, they're sort of grey and silky. I wanted to add some diamonds into this design because obviously, in the headdress, I put quite a few diamonds. We definitely need eyelashes. Um, and I got some that are really quite spider leggy, long and spiky. So I'm going to stick these on, and um, then, um, as I said, I'm going to try and stick the jewels on. We'll stick the headdress on. We'll change, and go spidery, and we should be done. Bearing in mind, ladies, that I am. A glasses wearer. I'm going to try and do this without wearing the glasses. It should be interesting to say the least. Um, so I'm going to put the glue on the lashes, put the glue on my eye. Now, when on the rare occasions that I bother to wear lashes these days, normally I don't wear a full eyelash. I normally cut them down and use like a three quarter because they're always too long and if you want them to be comfortable, you need to cut them down. Um, as I said, I wanted to add some diamonds just because I do. So whilst those are getting dried out, I'm just gonna add one there, one there. One there, so let's try these lashes now. Mm 
on that boot box then. It's all proving to be a lot more difficult than heat. So normally my aircon will be on and this will be easy. In these temperatures, it really isn't easy. The other one on. One eyelash. It's very strange. So I'm now going to quickly try this one again. What we might even do is we might even have to be a little bit sneaky and take the um, eyelash glue. Just stick it on again. Oh, it's not surprising it's not sticking. I'm literally dripping. I'm literally dripping. Spooky headdress, spooky makeup, and spider themed. If I get the chance, I should do another couple before Halloween, so I've got a week or so still to do it. I wanted to do a Medusa one, I had a feeling that I might quite like to do a sort of 1920s dead flapper look. Um, but anyway, so there's my spider. Um, I think it's quite cool. It would be a lot cooler if I had some cool air and I wasn't sweating, but I think you can get the effect. Ta-da! Anyway, ladies, thank you for joining me. Um, hopefully my husband will cut this and make it look cool, even if it isn't. And um, thank you for joining me for the journey. Sorry about the noise of the fan. Catch you later. Enjoy Halloween.